What's up everybody, it's your boy Bad Dog back with another video and in desperate need of a shave as always. Well, a haircut as well. I could use a haircut myself. When your kid tells you, Daddy, it's time to shave, it's time to shave. So we'll take care of all that tonight. There's really nothing to talk about on the Giants front. I've been searching high and low for some kind of story. I mean, we could talk about Steve Tisch's daughter. I didn't think that was appropriate. And there's really just nothing else to talk about. I mean, as far as training camp goes, the New York Giants are just doing walkthroughs. Or they haven't done anything else. They haven't had any kind of contact. They're just staying in shape. It's, it's a boring time in the NFL right now. And again, there's just there's absolutely nothing to talk about. So we're going to talk about the New York Yankees and John Carlos Stanton, the $325 million piece of glass that the New York Yankees acquired from the Miami Marlins. You know, John Carlos Stanton uh, has never had a, you know, uh, a full season with the New York Yankees at all. You know, this is a guy that they traded Starlin Castro for and a couple other prospects, a guy that hit 59 homers with the Marlins one year. And since coming to the New York Yankees, he can't play a full season. Now, the guy's always had injury problems, but this is just getting absolutely ridiculous. So he has a grade one hamstring strain. He's out at least three to four weeks. What does this mean for the Yankees? Well, obviously it means that the DH spot is open. They called up Clint Frazier to fill this spot. And you guys know me, anybody that's been in my Yankee streams, I always say our outfield should be uh, Talkman, Frazier, and Aaron Judge. I mean, let the, let the young guys get up here. I can't stand Aaron Hicks. I think Aaron Hicks is a waste. Brett Gardner's obviously getting older. I think Brett Gardner's more of a situational platoon guy at this point in his career. I mean, a lot of guys hate on Brett Gardner. I like Gardner more so for the clubhouse leadership and, and, and a good uh, dugout guy, a good leader, a good veteran. The only Yankee left from their last world championship. So I like Gardner there for that reason, but obviously his best hitting days are behind him. Now this presents, you know, a problem for the Yankees. And it's not so much that Stanton's not there, it's that Stanton is never there. Giancarlo Stanton missed almost all of last season with numerous injuries. And it's just obvious that we cannot count on this guy. And because his contract is so ridiculous, it's going to be impossible to get rid of Stanton for anything. I mean, I don't know anybody that can afford this guy outside the Dodgers, and what would they use him for? The guy, he's not really a good fielder, and there's no DH in the NL. You know, at least uh, this year there is, but obviously going forward there's not. Maybe in the future they, they eliminate that completely from the NL. There's been a lot of talk about that. But right now he wouldn't make any sense for the Dodgers, and he wouldn't make any sense anywhere else. It really don't even make sense for us. Um, you know, it's just, it's, it's really aggravating that this guy just can not stay healthy. He just can't stay healthy. It's always something. He's like Mark Deshera. The guy sneezes, he's on the DL. You know, he ties his shoes wrong. He's on the DL. You know, he blinks incorrectly. He's on the DL. He has an eyelid strain. You know, he has a nostril strain. You know, he chipped a tooth. You know, his, uh, he's got a heavy flow day. Whatever it is with this guy, he's never healthy. You know, the Yankees are really ticking me off, man. I'm not going to lie. I can see a lot more rants coming in the future. Because this team was projected to, to at least go to the World Series. I mean, this team is projected to be really good. This team has been close to the World Series. They added Garrett Cole this year. This was supposed to put him over the top. And you can see that the teams in our division are not very good. You know, we lost to the race. Should not have lost three out of four to them. They beat Boston. Boston's not really good. Baltimore's been playing the best out of any team in this division. Who really believes in Baltimore? So the Yankees have a really good opportunity. They can't stay healthy. They can't win games. They can't hit in the clutch. They got a terrible manager. And even though we're 10 and 6, I feel like we should be better than 10 and 6. I feel like we've let some games get away and we're playing against some not really good opponents. So you get into the playoffs, man. We've seen this year after year after year. You got to hit with men on base. You got to come doing the clutch. You, you got to move runners over, get them on, get them over, get them in. ABC Baseball. Sabermetrics and analytics destroyed baseball, in my opinion. Nobody plays small ball anymore. Nobody manufactures runs anymore. When the Yankees were winning all their championships in the middle uh, to late 90s, they were a team that manufactured all kinds of runs. Anyway, I'm getting off topic here. John Carlos Stan on the uh, on the 10-day IL, but he's out at least three to four weeks. Yankee fans don't even expect to see him back this year. I don't expect to see this guy anytime in the future this season. I expect to see John Carlos Stanton here in 2021. If he does come back, it'll be for like three days and he'll get hurt again. Absolutely useless. Absolutely useless. Does this team no good at all? The guy's never healthy. I don't care how good you are. If you can't be on the field, you're, you're just, you're useless. The guy's useless. Anyway, so I got John Carlos Stanton. Three to four weeks. <laughs> what else is new? Bad diggity dizzle and I am gone. Peace.